Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Allure Beauty Box for June. So first of all, real quick guys, I'm already feeling self-conscious being on here without makeup. I'm breaking out on my chin. I'm just feeling gross. But this one does have mostly skincare in it, which most of the Allure Beauty Boxes do. Um, but this time, I figured I would just come on without any makeup on and then try the products with you guys. If you guys haven't heard of the Allure Beauty Box, it is a monthly beauty box subscription. So this one is $15 a month. It comes with seven to eight products total, and then two of them being full-size products. And going from past experience, even the sample sizes last a long time. So. This is such a good value. And real quick guys, this video is not sponsored, although Allure does send this beauty box to me. So I just review it for you guys because I love it personally. It's my favorite. Skincare is also something that's really hard for me to shop. I feel like makeup's so much easier, but skincare, it's typically more expensive. So I don't wanna fully commit to it. So I like having the sample sizes. So yeah, this is definitely coming handy for me, but let's just get into it. So this is the Allure beauty box that it comes in. And it always comes with this little magazine that I love. They have um, a bunch of editors go through and tell you a little bit about the products and how you should use it and how they like using it. Just different little tips and tricks. All right guys, so here is the inside of the box here. So I did open this beforehand and like I said, I saw mainly skincare, which like I said, it already is mainly skincare, but sometimes there would be like two beauty products in there. But there's only one that's like nail related, which I'm not gonna do today, but I'll make a separate video on that. Okay, so we have a Star Skin 100% Camilla Nourishing and Brightening Two-Step Oil Sheet Mask. Never tried anything like this before. Okay, so this is pretty neat. So you're supposed to apply the oil first and then you put on the face mask. So it says that the oil is naturally packed with fatty acids, which help to plump up even super dry skin and antioxidants. The sheet mask itself has niacinamide, niacinamide, cinamide, sodium hyaluronate, camellia oil. I'm so bad with reading those names, it's ridiculous. And obviously you can use this anytime, but they did say that if you use this before bed, then you wake up the next day with smoother, softer skin. So there's a tip for that. Okay, so first I'm gonna start out by opening the actual mask on the bottom there. Oh, that way this part's already open when I need to go use it. They were saying in like the little mini magazine that you should really open it first because after you apply the oil, the last thing that you're gonna be able to do is open these little slits here. Oops, I ripped the instructions, so we're starting off on a good note. All right, so it says cleanse face and pat dry tear to separate oil capsule. Massage a few drops of the canoil, con, com, camellia oil on face. All right, my face is already clean, so let's do this. Oh. I just applied the oil all over my eyelids, which I'm just now realizing that's probably a bad idea, because it's probably gonna wind up running into my eyes. <laughs> But I'm also just taking this down my neck too. I don't think it said that in the directions. And then I'm also gonna get my hands too, because why not? Never waste a good oil. That's what I always like to say. <laughs> okay, so the next step is to take this guy out. Forgot to put on deodorant today, guys, and I had fast food last night. Let me know if this happens to you too, but I feel like it's sweating through my pores. Like I smell like a hamburger that's been out in the sun. I think I put this on a little lopsided. Shit. All right guys, the mask is on. So it says to leave this on for 15 minutes and I'll be back. Oh shit, I'm getting stuff everywhere. <laughs> Oh my God, are you guys seeing this? <laughs> oh. All right guys, so it has been 15 minutes. So it just says to peel off and then you just wanna tap or rub this into the skin. So you don't wanna rinse it because it kind of defeats the purpose, but just in case that wasn't <laughs> self-explanatory. It doesn't really feel like it's sinking in though. Like, you know, after some sheet masks, you can literally just tap it in and it just absorbs. I feel like I'm just moving around the oils and it's not sinking in, but I'm gonna keep going and see what happens. It's definitely starting to absorb now, but for me, I would consider this to be more of a night mask. I have very oily skin, so this 
seems like it would be a nightmare for me to wear underneath of my makeup. But I mean, if you have very dry skin, then you would probably love that. But yeah, this just seems like a really nice moisturizing mask for the end of the day. Next, they have the Pure Lease Watermelon Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. So this gently cleanses skin, removes makeup, purifies and energize. And it is free of parabens, mineral oil, and phthalates free. So this is what the inside looks like. Oh yeah, this is definitely pretty strong sense of watermelon. And it came out like a grayish color. You guys can see that. Just looks like a nice gel. And obviously if you were doing this in the shower or doing this properly, it would be lathering up, <laughs> but I'm not. But yeah, it definitely is a strong watermelon smell. So if scents are something that bothers you, you might wanna steer away from this guy. And yeah, let me just go wash this off real quick. All right guys, so this is my face afterwards. I mean, I think it's just like a normal cleanser. I don't, I mean, my face definitely feels clean. I feel like cleansers are a little tough, but it does feel like it got everything off of my skin. You know what? I'm gonna go in with a toner real quick just to see if it got everything off of my skin. Yeah. That's always the trick to tell a good cleanser is to use a toner afterwards because toners don't lie. So next up is this product from Belief. So this is the True Cream Aqua Balm Aloe Vera. So this is a soothing and hydrating aloe complex. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. It's just an amazing moisturizer. But one of the girls in the magazine says that she doubles up on layers for this when she wants like an at-home facial. That's something else you can do. This is the inside here. It's the actual product. Ooh, I feel like this, this really just steeped right into my skin. It doesn't feel greasy at all. Also, there's no strong scents. It almost has like a hint of cucumber, but no, not strong at all. And I get really bad migraines, so that's something that I would touch on right away. Okay, so this next one is really interesting. So this is, is it Yenza? I think is the name of the brand, but it's Super 8 Lip Oil. It says that it has a hot pink tint that perks up your complexion, but the color is sheer. So it's closer to like a popsicle stain and it dries down to a layer on your lips without any greasiness or stickiness. And it's also loaded with antioxidants and moisturizers, including vitamin E, coconut, and avocado seed oil. Oh, so it kind of just looks like a lip gloss tube. That's really interesting. Cause you can see it's obviously a liquid. It's like a lava lamp. I don't really notice a tint, do you guys? I think my lips are already pretty pigmented, so maybe it's just not showing up that much on there. But let me try it on my hand. Okay, yeah, so you can definitely see there's coloring on there. And this guy is $28, which is a little pricey, but it does feel very moisturizing. And yeah, it's not greasy at all. Okay, so next up is a vitamin C serum, it looks like. So this is by, is it La, La Roche-Posay? So it's an active C10. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. So this is the tube here. Okay, so this top here, you actually have to puncture. Oh, ah. I think it did a little bit too hard, but I do love skincare where you puncture the tube. It does feel so much more high class, doesn't it? You just feel a little bit bougier. This is a brightening treatment. So it is ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. And one of the editors says that they use a dime size amount after toning. And this just helps them with their hyperpigmentation, which I do get some dark spots too. I believe that this is a dark spot. I don't believe that that's like an age spot. I'm not old enough for that. But they said that it's great on hyperpigmentation. It absorbs quickly. And unlike other vitamin C serums, it doesn't sting, which is very true. When I put this on, I didn't feel any kind of stinging and it did absorb right into my skin. So this isn't greasy at all. But yeah, this one just felt very moisturizing. And last but not least is the Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palette. This is really interesting, really cool. 
These are gels that go on top of your nails. Let me know if you guys wanna see a full video dedicated to this because let me cut it out of this package and really show you guys because these are really neat. Ah, I just like jammed it into my boob by accident. <laughs> and it hit the small one too. It's gonna be even smaller now. Okay, so this is the palette here. So as you can see, check these out. That looks really cool. Okay, so from what I'm reading on the instructions, it looks like you put this over top of your nail and then you fold the material around the sides like any of the excess material and then you literally just file it off. So then it just leaves a gel cover making it look like nail polish. And then you would put on one of the little accessory tops on here accessory tops, like details. But yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. Like I said, let me know if you guys wanna see a video on that. That would be a really fun one to film. And it's only $9. I'm actually really shocked by that. I mean, this would only last you one time because it's one pack, but $9, that wouldn't, it's not bad at all. All right guys, so this is the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think of the Allure Beauty Box. Is this something that you would consider subscribing to? Do you have any of the other beauty boxes? Do you have Ipsy? Do you have BoxyCharm? Um, the next video that I'm actually, actually, actually gonna be reviewing is the Glossy Box. I've heard of it before, but I've never had it. So uh, yeah, look out for that video as well. Um, this one will probably be up before that one, but if not, I'll include it in the description down below. So yeah, I love you guys. Let me know if there's one product in particular that you guys liked most out of everything that was in the box. And yeah, make sure to give this video a like if you liked it, that really helps me out. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. And I love you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully my pimples weren't too distracting. Oh, this one looks angry.